Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to make freestanding posts. Um, but before we get started, I would like to give a quick shout out to one of my patrons over on Patreon, Mario Anderson. Thank you so much for helping to support my channel. I appreciate it a lot. All right. So if you don't know this trick, it has been around for a while. I'm not sure exactly like when it showed up or who made it up. Um, I've seen lots of people do it, so you may already know about it, but if you don't, you're probably wondering how in the world I got these posts to be just stuck in the ground like this. Because if any of you have, you know, built in Fallout 76, you know that posts can only be snapped to foundations. Well, I'm going to show you. And once I show you, it's really, really, really simple. Once I show you how to do it, I'm going to show you um, about seven things that you can do with this. All right, let's get to it. So it is extremely simple. You're going to need a foundation um, to initially snap the post to and then go get the post. Uh, yeah, they're under stairs. Um, decide what size you want to use. Um, you can use a, a tall one or a short one, doesn't matter. Um, then, if you're using a tall one, put a short one on top of it. Okay? And then, all you have to do is blueprint the two posts together and create a blueprint. Now, I've already done one. Once you've um, blueprinted the posts together, you can place them anywhere you want. As long as you have this, this steel for it, right? And then once you've got it where you want it, you can take the small one off the top. Um, if you want to make the, you can also do this with the small post. And in fact, I blueprinted both. So you just, um, You know, put the small one on and then put another small one on top of it, blueprint them together, and then you can place the small post. And there you go. You can place them pretty much anywhere, except, you know, you can't obviously stick them inside things, just like anything. They have a collision still. Um, it's a pretty forgiving collision. You can um, sink them pretty close to stuff, um, but... Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. It, the the potential that you can have to use these for is just it's it's amazing and I'm going to show you a few of the things that you can do with these. So what's the first thing that you think of when you think post? Well, for me it's fence, fence post. <laughs> and so you could make a fence with these if you want to. And so just start with one post and get it to the height that you want. Um, make sure that the smooth side of the post, so you can see there's a side, it's hard to see because the sunlight is, oh, and that doesn't do much better, but you can, you, you know what I'm talking about. One side is not smooth, one side is sunk in because of the I beam. Um, so just, um, Make sure the smooth side is going in the direction that you want your post, uh, your fence to go in, okay? Then, um, you will need, for this, you will need the Advanced Power Connectors Plan. And you'll want to get, uh, where is it? No, it's up in this top one. You'll want to get, well, this one will work fine. The, I think, yeah, the downward facing one actually works the best, I think. So just, it'll actually go in right here, the downward facing conduit. And just stick that in there so that it's hidden. Um, once you place it, you can actually come up here and look at it closer and see if it's sticking out or not and you can adjust it if you need to once that that's in and make sure it's um facing make sure this little part is facing in the direction you want your fence to go and then get the long 
conduit or the medium one, which however depends on how close you want your posts to be together. Um, but you can get the long conduit. And then, uh, now, now this does only make a single um, row, like a single um, rail, I guess you could say, fence. I have not been able to figure out how to put on a second rail yet. Um, I didn't really take like a lot of time to figure it out. So if you guys would, would um, you know, if any of you guys figure it out, do let me know how you did it and I might put it in a future video and I'll of course give you credit for it. Okay, so then once you have the first post in, go back to your blueprints and line up your second post. And you gotta get it so that it's just starting to sink in to the conduit. If you go too far, it won't actually place. Okay, check it, make sure that you like it. It's not actually touching the conduit. <laughs> So you want to check, because it's it's actually kind of difficult to see sometimes. These posts are dark. Moving it closer to you might help. So you want to make sure that actually sinks into the conduit a little bit. Hello there, little friend. Keeping me company. <laughs> there. Like that. Then, go back to power conduits, and you can actually snap um, another one directly to the to the first one. Go back to blueprints and do it again. Now, the cool thing about doing a fence like this is that um, you can actually go uphill with the, these fences. And I'll show you that as soon as I place this one. So as you see, I'm coming up to a little hill here. And so what you can do now and I might have actually, if I was making this to be um, like a, t a permanent thing right here, I would probably make the medium, f um, medium one and start raising it from here. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and do that because I'm not gonna have room to show you what I wanna do otherwise. So back to power conduits, I'm gonna choose the medium post, or the medium rail. You can call it a rail, I guess, since we're making a fence but you get the idea right you get the idea now you can probably see you know you could just you just basically continue this and just continue it and continue it and continue it actually the next one I'm talk I'm too busy talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing <laughs> to raise it up make the next one taller And then go to go back to um, get another one of these and stick it in here again up near the top. Did that make the bunnies jump? It looked like it made the bunnies jump when I placed that. <laughs> make sure that it's centered and that it's facing the direction you want. So you can actually rotate this to um, turn your fence. If you want to make your fence round or if you want to go around um, a wide corner um, or you can make it come off this side if you want to make a sharp corner. So you can do all kinds of things. Once you got that on, then go back to the medium one and put it on. Now, of course, this is, this is only if you're going up a hill, you guys. Do it this way only if you're going up a hill. Or if you want your fence to look weird. <laughs> and then the next one up the hill is also raised a little bit, like that. And then you get the next conduit thing and do it all again. And you just keep doing this until you go up the hill. And once you're to the top, or once it levels out again, um, then you can start putting on, putting them flat again. And I think that this is just um, kind of a cool looking fence. I, I like how it looks kind of, I don't know, really 
sturdy looking, right? It's made out of metal. Um, obviously, it's not going to do very well for um, a defensive purposes because you know, enemies probably could just walk right under this. At least some some of them could, like a human enemy can't, but um, an animal might be able to, a dog or something might be able to run under there. Um, but, you know, most of the stuff that I do <laughs> isn't for defensive purposes, it's for aesthetic purposes. I know there are a lot of people out there who enjoy that kind of thing as well. So just, um, there you go. Um, a very heavy duty metal fence that you can build with um, freestanding uh, posts. All right, the next thing that I'm going to show you is extremely simple, but I thought I would mention it anyway, and that is that there are actually a few items in the build menu that you can place on top of the posts. Um, and this includes fashionac flags and stuff like this. So you can actually like put them up higher if you wanted to. You know, I don't know why, just for decoration. If you think that they're too 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 low to the ground, you can put them up higher. You can put the post the height that you want it to be and then stick it up there. You know, because reasons, whatever. <laughs> Another one that you can also place on top is the No, oh, where did it, where is it? Um, okay, now I've got squirrels. Scarecrows! Now, okay, so only two of the three scarecrows will actually go on top of these. It's this one. Um, for some reason, this one doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I don't know why, but this one does. So you can make a really creepy, tall scarecrow if you wanted to. <laughs> Another thing that you can place on these are uh, lights. Some lights will go on these, um, like this kind. This kind will go on there. Um, these kinds are a little bit tricky to get on. You kind of have to, you kind of have to like sort of ease them on. But they will go on. And so you can have little lamp posts out in your yard. You would, of course, have to put a conduit with a wire going to it. But just so that you know, the regular upward-facing conduits um, actually sink in to the tops of these. And so then just the tiny top of it will, will stick out. And then you can um, still attach wires to it. So that's really helpful there. Um, another thing... Another... Uh, light that will go on is this one. So you can uh, stick this. One. This one's actually a little bit easier to get on than the than the downward facing one. <laughs> and then of course it tries to prove me wrong, but I, I find that one easier. So it just depends on what your aesthetic is that you're, that you're going for. Um, none of these other lights will work, although the um, the Mothman bundle torches from the atom shop um actually will go on here and they kind of look cool as well you can make a kind of a creepy you can do it all the way around if you want to kind of creepy uh sort of scarecrow halloween decoration i don't know <laughs> Whatever you want to do with it. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. Um, you could make sort of like a little avenue or a trail lined with um, posts with lamps on them or something. You know, whatever. You just have to make sure that you put a conduit every couple, every few posts, depending on how far apart you want them, um, so that the lights will work. Um, another light that you can also do is... Um, there's some lamps that'll go on um, and they'll actually sink in so maybe you can have like light bulbs on the tops of posts lighting up uh, an area this one this one's good it sort of just sits up there it kind of looks like a little vase but it's lit up if of course you have power coming to it i don't actually i don't think these are in range with my power it might be 
It kind of looks like this one's on. Anyway, <clears throat> so those are just a few more ideas, a very simple ones that you can do uh, with these posts. Next tip is also another very simple one. Um, it, it involves the uh, red long curtains, or you could also use uh, these ones as well, The just the regular red curtains, but I think these ones look better. Um, so it's your choice. So these curtains, they don't snap to the posts, but you can actually build these freestanding. They don't have to be snapped to something in order to actually work. And so then if you place a post down, you can actually line it up so that it's attached, so it looks like it's attached to the post. And then you just put it in and then you can get another post and line it up so that it looks like it's attached to the other post as well. Sorry, my the shadows are really not good right now. And then you can make sort of a an interesting doorway that you can you can actually walk through there. Um, if you get stuck, sometimes you might get stuck going through these. I'm not doing it at the moment, but if you do, if you do get stuck going through these doorways, um, you could just turn sideways. You'll fit. Um, it's a finicky thing. Sometimes you get stuck all the time. Sometimes you never do. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think you can make a kind of interesting um, entrance to your camp this way. In fact, you could actually um, put some more posts on. Um, you can actually line these up really close to each other. Um, you can actually line them up close enough that they're sort of merging and then they have absolutely no gap between them. So really good if they're really good for filling in holes. Um, if you've got a gap in a wall or something that you want to fill in, you can use these for that. Sort of a bonus tip there. That's not included in the seven, um, seven tips for how to use these, but there we go. So you can um, sort of just make a, a cool wall even with them if you wanted to. If you wanted, if you had the build budget and wanted to make a cool wall with them, you could. I don't know, you could just sort of make a, <laughs> a kind of an interesting um, entrance to your key up this way. Just a, a little idea. You know, you don't have to use this, of course. This is just a, sort of an example of the type of thing that you can do with um, the posts and the curtain. And of course, the curtain is only available through the Atom Shop. And unfortunately, it isn't actually currently available through the Atom Shop. This was a limited time item that they had several weeks ago. And it's not there anymore. But if you own the curtain or if you see it for sale later on in the Atom Shop, sometimes they bring stuff back um, on sale grab it up it's a really nice um, thing to have because you can use it to frame doorways and stuff like that and if you want to see an example of that you can watch my previous tips and tips and tricks video i'll link that down below and at the end of this video but um anyway there you go sort of sort of a sort of a barbaric looking entrance <laughs> and somewhat elegant as well in a weird kind of way anyway <laughs> there you go the next thing I'm going to show you guys is really useful if you like to have like a shop, if you like to put signs out. Um, the billboards that come in like in the Atom Shop and stuff, they're humongous, right? They're huge. So um, they're not, I don't personally like them myself, but uh, anyways, let's build our own small billboard and you can use the posts to hold them up or well not technically you're holding them up with the posts but you can it makes it look like that you are so what you want to do then is put a foundation and then a wall with a door in it then a flat roof on the door and then a uh, pick whichever wall type you want for your um, 
for your small billboard. And um, like you could use any of the half walls of any of the types. Um, some things don't like clip to them as like for instance this one is going to have troubles with like neon lights um, sticking on this side of it um, this wall works really well for neon lights and it, plus it's nice and flat and it's light colored so things stand out on it better um, then once you have the uh, once you have this made you can actually delete the foundation as long as this is a doorway you can then delete the roof then delete the wall and you have a floating um, board <laughs> and then all you have to do is take your post and line it up on the side if your post is t t too tall and your um, or I mean, if, if, if you made it too tall, like if you put your foundation up too high, um, you might have to raise your post up higher than it. it's not touching the ground. It's not touching the ground currently, and so it's, that's why it's having trouble um, sticking right where I want it. But if you fiddle with it a little bit, you can get it in. It won't actually go in right there because it's... Um, too far into the board so you just have to kind of get it to go right up close to it and if you do get the um, intersects with an existing object um, message while you're using the posts you won't be able to place it anywhere after that so I'm trying to place it right now and it won't um, I don't know why it does that but all you have to do is back out and then come back in and it'll cancel it so I don't know why it does that but there you go try just try to avoid causing that to happen. And so that's obviously too far away. It's it's sometimes difficult to get the angle correct. So just just fiddle with it until you get it just the way you want it. Um, you might have to lower your your uh, if you can't get it exactly where you want it, you might have to lower your po your uh, foundation start over lower the foundation it's not quite on it's a little bit off i'd like to have the board right in the middle of the of the post but you can get the idea once you have the um you can see that it's floating there um so to fix that you just put a short post down below and then you just do the same thing on the other side as best as you can. It actually very much does help to have your um, your board a little lower than I have it here. Um, because then the post won't float. So if the post floats, then it just jumps around. <laughs> and it's annoying. But anyways, there we go. A little billboard sign that you can put anything on. You can put... Um, uh, hold on. Where... Lights. You can put the these letters up there. Uh, you know, these letters, obviously you can do whatever you want. There's, um, these letters will go on up there. So, plus, you can also put posters on there. Well, you can't put posters on the outside, but you can put them here. Let me see if my pit boy light will help. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes the shadows are extremely harsh in this game, huh? But anyway, you can put posters on there, and, um, or flags. Pretty much anything you can hang on a wall, obviously, you can put on here to advertise whatever you want to advertise. Just, you know, go have fun with it. So, you know, you can fit three posters across here really great, and then you can have a little billboard. You, you can decorate both sides of it. You can put the words on that side. You can have some advertisements on the back. 
Um, you can put these on... Well, I don't know if you can put them on a roof. I don't think you can, actually. Just because you... Um, I don't think you can remove the... If you can get it so that you can remove the wall up really high up on top of a roof... Um, yeah, go ahead and put it up on a roof if you want to. So, but anyway, there is the billboard using the freestanding posts. All right, another thing that these posts really come in handy with is uh, filling in corners, uh, reverse corners in houses. Um, I'm sure that you've all had this problem um, when you build an interior room in your house, or if you have an L-shaped house and one of the walls is, you know, inverted like this, um, especially with these uh, cabin walls, you've got this awful gap in the corner that you can actually see through, light shines through it, you can actually go up to it and look through the crack, and it's just, it's just horrible, and there's nothing you can do about it, or at least there wasn't until now. So, if you're building a house that has a reverse corner in it, before you put the roof on, um, put in a post, which you have to remove the wall. Do it before you put the wall in. Know where your corner's gonna be. Get your blueprinted post. Um, the reason why you need to do it before you put the roof on is because the post is, the, the small post on the top will clip through your ceiling. Unless you have a really tall ceiling, obviously. But if you have a low ceiling, it'll it'll clip through and you won't be able to place the post down. So make sure your roof is either really high or you remove the roof directly above. If you're putting it, if you want to add this in to an existing house, remove the roof that's directly above your, where you want to put the post or the floor or whatever's up there. Remove it temporarily and then you can put it back. So then you're going to want to put the post um, not on the inside corner. Um, the walls that, um, when you reverse them, they actually go onto the outside. So you need to put the post on the outside corner. So you want to put the post so that it's just, um, I might not have gotten it close enough, but you want to put it so that it's in the corner of the foundation that's where they're touching the one that you want the walls to be on. Um, and try this one. Let's try this one. You may have to redo it and start over. Um, so just reverse the wall. Reverse the wall. Come on. Nope. It was there. There. Yeah, see? Okay, so it's a little bit sticking out a little bit too far. So just remove the walls again. Remove your post. Um, it definitely helps to have um, a, a floor that you can easily see where the line is. And so if you, uh, whoops, whoops again, I am totally not doing this right. There we go. Um, the concrete post, uh, the not post floor, concrete floors are really good because the, the lines are more precise. Or you can even... Um, like just make your other room a uh, temporarily just a completely different color, and then get your post again, and maybe try coming over here to look. You want to get it so that it's slightly overlapping the other corner, but not by too much, and make sure it doesn't sink in. Too much. I mean, you can you can have it sink in if you want, so it doesn't have that little rim on the edge. Uh, but then it won't go all the way to your ceiling. So just just keep that in mind. You can sink these a little bit. You can sink these into the foundations. See, so you can see it sink in there. So just keep that in mind that it doesn't sink. All right, let's try. Uh, wrong button. Ugh. Okay, I've been playing other games and I'm getting my buttons confused. <laughs> I'm complaining about it in my other games too. There, that's a little bit better. There. So what you want it to do is be flush with 
the wall that that you've got in there. Um, it's a slight, slightly crooked, but it'll look even better if you put wallpaper on it. I think. I think it, I have one of these in my house like this. It just ends up looking so um, clean compared to the original. And even though it is dark, it's not the same color as your wall, I think personally that it looks better than um, the gap that would have been there. Like, so if I remove this, um, actually I have to destroy it. I mean, look at that, look at that ugly gap. It just looks so nasty, right? So it just looks so much better when you have a post in the middle of it. All right, last but not least, with this method of placing posts, it makes it actually a ton easier to make covered porches. Now I know that we have these um, covered porches with the contemporary uh, house set, but I know a lot of you guys don't have this set because you don't buy stuff on the item shop and that is totally fine. You can still make covered porches and I've made, I've shown how to do this many times in previous videos. Um, you can see I have one over here where you can put the, the posts on the corners because the posts don't actually snap to the corners. They snap like, like right there, I think is that as close to the corner as it can get. Um, as you can see, it snaps there and yeah, basically it just snaps to the middle of the, of the, of the thing. So what I have always done then is you have to get a stair. Um, let's, let's do it from this angle, I guess. And then you have to, I'm, I'm just going to demonstrate it really quick for those of you who may not know. I know most of you probably do know this, but some of you may not. Um, to get it right on the corner, you have to do this with stairs and boards, and then you have to um, get your post, and then it'll snap to the middle of the board, which will be the corner of the post. And it's kind of a pain in the neck. You have to do this for every single post that you put in. And yeah, it can get pretty aggravating. Here, let me just put in one more for my demonstration. I'm gonna put one right there. And I'm gonna put one, come on, get on there. Right here. So you can see what they look like. And then let's say that this is the front of a house, right? So there will be walls. Let's, let's actually just make a wall going across. Let's pretend this is the front of the house and you're painting a porch on the front of it. Then you get a, then you get a, uh, a roof to put on your porch, and you just put roofs all the way across. It's a little bit, uh, well, not on this side yet. I'm gonna put the new one on that side. So there you go. You got the porch posts in, and that, you know, it works good. This is what I've been doing all this time from practically the beginning of this game. Um, but they're not perfect. You can see they stick out, they hang off the edge a little bit. They, they really hang off the corner a lot. And so, you know, they're not perfect. So what the, um, what the blueprint does then is it allows you to perfectly place the, the post exactly where you want it to go. If you pull it towards you a little bit and you just place it right in the center, right on the edge, like that. And of course, you have to do this before you put the, the ceiling on. I think it'll work with, with the ceiling on too, but it works better with the ceiling off. And then you just remove the upper pieces. And then you can put your um, roof on. And look at how much better that looks compared to the other one. I mean, look at that. They're coming right down from the bottom. They're coming right up to the edge, right up to the corner. 
it's so clean looking and you can make it so that the smooth side is facing out if you want to um, when you do it the stairway it makes it so the recessed side is facing out and there's nothing you can really do about that that's just the way they snap on um, so that's just a, another thing that you can do with the freestanding uh, post or pillar or whatever you want to call it yeah I really like that and, and not to mention not only does it look better it is like I don't know it takes half as long to put them up or even less than half as long to put them up and you don't have to worry about building all that extra stuff sometimes you might not have the build budget to build a ladder and several floors in order to get a post in all you have room for is the post or two posts but not all of that other stuff required to get them in and so all you have to do is build two posts you don't have to build all that other stuff so that's I think that's really awesome and I'm going to be using it this way from now on it cuts down on your time tremendously if you're putting in a lot of posts or if you have to take a post out for some reason like if you wanted to change something or whatever you would have to take a lot of it down the roof and everything in order to put in a new post and put the stairs back in and everything here let me I'm just going to show you what it's like to put one in with a roof already on um, you can do it see um, sometimes it depends on the type of roof it is sometimes it won't go in very easily like if it's a slanted roof it just has a hard, harder time going in but you can do it all right so anyway you guys that is that is really i don't know that's one of my favorite parts about this because i make these porches on everything all of my houses have porches and i like to put my um my my vendors under a roof just so that it looks nice and um I usually use these for that so there you go and um, then if you forget to and you put the roof on first you can still put the posts in you have to take the roof off and be like oh I was supposed to put the stairs in and the floors in and then the posts and then take that all down and then put the roof on yeah I've done that before I put the roof in first on accident I have to take it all down so if you accidentally put the roof on first you can still put the posts in without having to take the roof off so anyways that's enough rambling about that there you go you guys last but definitely not least in my book and that is going to do it for this video you guys these have been seven things that you can do with freestanding posts now this is by no means an exhaustive list of things that you can do with freestanding posts of course there's probably several other things in fact there are a few other things that I know about that you can do with these but I'm gonna show you how to do those in a different video because it requires a couple other tricks that that aren't on the topic of this video so stay tuned for that that will be coming out sometime in the near future um, if you know of any other tricks or if you do some experimenting after you watch this video and you have learned some other tricks things that you can do with freestanding posts leave them down in the comments I if I get enough things for the future I might do another video um, you know seven more things you can do with freestanding posts or something like that right so leave me suggestions down in the comments and if I like your suggestion if it's cool if it's useful whatever I might put it in the next video and of course I will give you credit for it all right you guys that is gonna do it for this video today if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up as it helps out my channel a lot and if you haven't subscribed do so because I have a lot more um, Fallout 76 tips and tricks videos and build videos and camp tours so go check that out I've got other stuff as well like for Fallout 4 and other games so go check that out and also if you would like to support my channel the links for that are down in the description I've got patreon and coffee you can help support the channel that way and I also have a teespring shop where you can um, buy wasteland dovahkiin merch that will also go to help supporting my channel so and um, if you would like to join a very friendly um, online community uh, you can check out my subscriber discord server the link is down below as well we talk about well, we mostly talk about Fallout, but we talk about a lot of other stuff too, general topics, 
and other games and stuff like that. So go check it out. We're a very friendly group. We we love it when new people come and and contribute to the community and we there's you can find people to play 76 with on there and stuff like that. So go check us out. It's really fun. We have a lot of fun over there. All right, you guys, that is all for today. <laughs> so I will see you in the next video, everyone. Until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.